Mm. Greetings to you. The name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today we will uh, continue to look at uh, Isaiah chapter 7. Isaiah chapter 7. We've been uh, looking at uh, Isaiah chapter 7 uh, the last two days. In one of my sharing, I shared a story about a man who uh, very really unexpectedly was retrenched. Of course, when he got the news of uh, his uh, retrenchment, uh, he was in a shock. But when he went back home and uh, shared that uh, news with his wife and children, together they uh, decided to put their trust in God. And uh, because of their faith, they were able to experience uh, calmness and they were not afraid of, to face their tomorrows. And God did meet all their needs. And then uh, we looked at uh, King Hahas and the people of uh, Judah. In uh, yesterday's uh, sharing, I especially focused on uh, verse 2, where King Hahas and the people of Judah were shaken as the trees of the forest are shaken by the wind. Why were they shaken? Why was uh, King Hahas uh, shaken? Because the king of Haram, the king of Israel, they have combined their army, armies. And there was this uh, vast army. Two kingdoms have come together. And now they were preparing to wage war on uh, King Hahas and uh, Judah. And of course, uh, verse 2 says, uh, Now the house of David was told, and the house of, house of David was told. We do not know what these people uh, went and told uh, King Hahas and the people of uh, Judah. Apart from what we read in uh, verse 2, they must have gone and said, King Hahas, your Majesty, you are in a big trouble. O oh, people of Judah, you are in a big trouble, or oh, we are in big trouble. Now look, the king of uh, Haram has joined forces with the king of Israel. Look, they have combined their armies, and there is this a big, this a vast army that is uh, coming to uh, attack uh, Judah. Big number. Most probably the first said they are better equipped. We are in for trouble. We are, we are in for trouble. So when the king Hahas heard what was told, when the people of Al Judah heard what was told to them, they were shaken. Their faith was shaken. They lost their peace. Fear gripped them. And that's where God has sent her Isaiah and his son with, the, with this message. Say to him, say to King Hahas, be careful. So God was telling uh, King Hahas, be careful. Be, I said, keep calm. He said, keep calm. Of course, for King Hahas and uh, the people of Judah, hey, how can we keep calm? How can we expect us to be calm? Look, we have uh, two kings coming to attack us. 
So this thought, hey, how can we keep calm? But God's, God mess, God's message to them was, be careful, keep calm, and don't be afraid. And then uh, in verse 9, uh, where God house King Hahas and the people of uh, Judah, if you do not stand firm in your faith, you will not stand at all. If you don't stand in your faith, you will, if you do not stand firm in your faith, you will not stand at all. So the message was delivered. Hey, Your Majesty, the people of uh, Judah, be careful. Keep calm. Don't be afraid. And God has gave a mess, uh, a sign. Verse uh, fourteen. Therefore, the Lord Himself will give you a sign. The virgin will be with child, and will give birth to a son. And will call him Emmanuel. Emmanuel, God with us. So God was said, telling the people of Judah, be careful, keep calm, don't be afraid, because God is with you. That was the message. Emmanuel means God with us. So the message was God is with you. God is with the people of uh, Judah. So don't lose your peace. Don't lose your faith. Don't fall victim to fear because God is with you. This word uh, Emmanuel Well, pop up during uh, Edwin, during uh, Christmas. So we, you know, I've seen uh, uh, even the uh, t-shirts with this word Emmanuel, God with us. So during uh, Christmas, uh, the whole atmosphere change will change. You know, we are all. Uh, Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Wow. We are filled with joy and, uh, um, because God is with us. During uh, Edward and uh, Christmas, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, wow. beautiful carol. Then after Christmas, what happens? God has gone back to heaven. Now you are all left alone. Because during Edwin, Christmas, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. God with us, God with us, God with us. Then after Christmas, we hardly hear the word Emmanuel. So we think that God has gone back to heaven. So now we are all on our own. Then come Easter. Then once again the church gets uh, reactivated. Then uh, we sing uh, Jesus Christ is risen today oh, Hallelujah wow. Jesus Christ is risen is risen in the wow. So during Easter we are so uh, full of life Then after Easter we behave as though uh, we have uh, laid Jesus back inside the tomb. So now, after Christmas, Jesus Christ has gone up to heaven. After Easter, yes, we have laid him back into the tomb. So we, we believe as though uh, God is not right. We must uh, deal with our own uh, problems, with our own uh, knowledge, with our own understanding, with our own strength. So God is not no more around us. But the message is very clear. Emmanuel, God with us. Not only during our Christmas, He's with us throughout the year. 
every day, every second, He is with us. We may realize, we may not realize, but He is with us. The reason Lord is with us every second of, the, of our day, of our life. Now King Ahaz did not realize it. The people of Judah did not realize it. They thought they had to deal with the, the king of Haram and the king of Israel by their own strength. But God told them, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Now we need to uh, claim this uh, from the promise, God is with us. Now it is only when we uh, uh, believe that God is with us, can we uh, truly live a victorious life in this time. Now the, the world is full of a problem. Now we hear of a war, we hear of a, a terrorist attack, we hear of a, so many problems. So many problems. And sometimes in our own lives, sometimes uh, Sunday, yeah, we have uh, Sunday. We all of it, all very unexpectedly. We may face uh, financial problems, health problem, children problem. So the world is uh, full of uh, problems. The question is, how do we deal with uh, all these problems? Do we uh, just uh, react to our problems? Now the people of Judah reacted to the news that uh, two kings have combined their force, forces and they were on their way to attack uh, Judah. And they react, what was their reaction? Fear. They were shaken. But sometimes we also, sometimes we, uh, when we are caught, in a storm of life. Now storms can come very unexpectedly. Like uh, the disciples who were in the, sh in the boat, I'm sure they did not expect a storm. And yet there was a storm which, which they least expected. And then they quickly had to run to Jesus. And Jesus calmed the storm. But Jesus was there in the, in the boat. Likewise, Jesus is always with us. Jesus is always with us. We can always run to Him. We can always run to Him. And He is always more than glad to take care of our problems. Because the God that we worship is Emmanuel, God with us. He is always with us. He will never leave nor forsake us. We may leave, leave him. We may forsake him. We may live as though we, we don't know him. But God will never disown us. That's a promise he gives. He'll never leave nor forsake us. Because he is our Emmanuel. So believe that our God is with you in all situations, in all circumstances. Always believe that uh, He will never let go our your hands. A song that I sang yesterday, He will never let go our hands. He will never. Because He is our Amen. Let me read this verse and conclude. Isaiah 7 verse 14. Therefore the Lord Himself will give you a sign. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son. And will call him Emmanuel, God with us. He is with you right now, he is with me. He will never abandon us. A mother who is breastfeeding a child may forget, but he will never forget us because we are very, very precious to him. Emmanuel. God bless. God bless you.